So many people are of the mindset that flat feet are bad and high arches are good. Is a high arch better? I'm Houston podiatrist, Dr. Andrew Schneider. It's a matter of too much of a good thing. Yes, you need an arch in your foot for it to function properly. Having too high of an arch can cause problems of their own. In today's video, I'll discuss if a high arch foot can cause knee or hip pain. Before I do, please let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find the information they need. High arches, also known as pes cavus, are a condition in which the arch of the foot is abnormally high. This can lead to a number of foot and ankle problems, including plantar fasciitis and stress fractures. However, high arches can also cause pain in other areas of the body, such as the knee and the hip. One of the main issues with high arched feet is that they have reduced shock absorption compared to a foot with a normal arch. This is because natural pronation is responsible for absorbing shock as the foot strikes the ground during movement. When the arch is too high, the foot becomes more rigid and has restricted pronation, which reduces its ability to absorb shock, leading to increased stress on the joints. This reduced shock absorption can lead to pain not only in the feet, but also in the lower leg, knee, hip, and back. Another issue with high arch feet is they tend to supinate or roll outward instead of pronating. Supination is when the foot doesn't roll inwards enough when it hits the ground. This can cause the foot to be less stable and lead to overuse injuries. This can cause a chain reaction that leads to knee pain. This is because supination can cause the tibia or shin bone to rotate outwards. This in turn can lead to increased stress on the knee joint and can cause a number of knee conditions, such as patellofebrile pain, illotibial band syndrome, and even osteoarthritis. High arches can also cause hip pain. This is because the foot is the foundation of the body and when it is not functioning properly, it can lead to imbalances that affect the entire kinetic chain. When the foot supinates, it can cause the pelvis to rotate forward, which in turn can lead to increased stress on the hip joint. This can cause a number of hip conditions, such as hip bursitis, snapping hip syndrome, and even osteoarthritis. Treatment for knee and hip pain caused by high arches typically begins with addressing the underlying foot problem. This may involve the use of orthotics, which are custom-made inserts that are placed inside the shoe to help support the arch of the foot and manage supination. When making an orthotic for a cavus foot, we have to be careful not to move the foot more to the outside. This will exacerbate the problem. Physical therapy may also be used to help strengthen the muscles of the foot, leg, and hip to improve alignment and reduce pain. In addition to these more specific treatment options, general measures can also be taken to reduce the risk of developing knee or hip pain due to high arches. These can include wearing shoes. If you have a high arch, you always want to be in a neutral or cushioned shoe. Stretching and strengthening exercises particularly for the foot, calf, and hip. Maintaining a healthy weight as excess weight can put additional stretch on the joints. Modify your running with a midfoot strike rather than a heel strike if you have high arches. If orthotics don't help your knee or hip pain, it's possible that your knee or hip have developed a primary issue such as arthritis. In these cases, I'd refer you to an orthopedist and get you checked. It is essential to remember that pain and discomfort are not normal. And if you're experiencing hip or knee pain, it is always best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the cause and the best course of action. With the right treatment and preventative measures, individuals with high arches can live a pain-free life. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. If you have high arches and you've developed pain in your feet, knees, hips, or back, come in so we can get to the root of the problem. That link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.